a cool little car. <laughs> I didn't expect that. That's one of your... That's one of the easier ones. Uh, That's pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah. Huh. Tell you, it's a fine car indeed. Need help? Okay. All right. Oh, crap. There it goes. Well, she's ready, isn't it? Yeah. Ready to hit the road. This was parked inside a barn from the early 70s till just about two weeks ago. The story goes the older gentleman who had it brought it from Iowa. I don't think he drove it, but it looks like registered in Iowa still. And he had a couple of these cars, and all the pieces are in here. No one knows much about it. He's gotten up there in age, unfortunately, like, like we all will one day, so not much help on that. But nonetheless the little car is incredibly solid for being a 48 I know it might look rough in pictures let me get you in here there full of parts So this is one of those that have the aircraft style disc brakes. They first have mechanical brakes and then they thought, hey, you know, hydraulically fired disc brakes, why not, right? Four wheel disc brakes. But they soon had a lot of issues with them seizing up and not holding up the way they wanted. So, here, let me see. I noticed it was in Fort Myers, VA. Adorable little thing. Look at that battery tray. Solid as a rock. I can't believe that. Yeah, I, this is the cast iron engine. This isn't the Cobra engine. Must have been changed. But this is actually a 48 49. Definitely changed. But. Everything else looks the same. It does have an old filter. We have a teeny tiny thing. What's that? No, it's a breather. Engine time? Yeah, it turns a little. Still tiny horn. This is really small. The pictures don't do it justice. Pretty good. So they used a lot of you know, their period car parts, like the voltage regulator, the carburetor, fuel pump, generator, stuff like that. You could find from other cars with period. Enough parts to fix this. You got a headlight twisted? I don't know where the grill is. Maybe it's in the back. I have not done anything to it. Oh, goody. Yep, it has the lever shock. Good. Good, I was hoping for that. Now, oh, what else here? Love the water pump on the generator, that's neat. It does have some glass issues, but it's all flat. I think we can get it cut. We'll find out. It has another engine in it in the open here. It's not a Crosley engine. I don't know what it goes to. It's a flathead four cylinder engine. Maybe it's Crosley. I don't think it is, though. I don't know. It's something tiny. Some type of flathead tiny engines in it as well in the back. I don't think it goes with this, but pretty cool. This is a non-radio car. Looks like it was maybe blue. That's more I see this. It might be blue. Can't tell. Anyway, it was repainted a couple times. Look at all that. I got a clutch, steel tank. So the only way in the back of this is behind the back seat. 
This is all solid. No way to open that. I still wonder how much a hinge was for a trunk lid at the factory. This must have been a couple extra steps. They figured it was, what, $20 to $30 more car? How much could it cost to have a truck? It fascinates me. Either way, this will do. Uh, they're around 450 by 12. Those are what we now consider trailer tires. I was just at our local Rural King today getting a 6 volt battery and yep, the same wheel, minus the hubcap ring. Looks like they would bolt right on it. Maybe not, but definitely the tires will. Get back in here. Oh, look at there, a speedometer. I have a new headlight in the box. Look at that. Cincinnati, Ohio. Nice to have a spare. A whole bunch of stuff in there. It's blocked to something. I don't know what it goes to. Maybe it's this. There's a Wii transmission. That's it. But he definitely had another car. Maybe he painted it blue. Paint's coming off. Yeah, it's cold. There's nothing like the first day you get something. And you rip it all apart to see what you got and go from there. It looks to be incredibly solid underneath. There's not much light down there, I would show you, but overall it's quite solid. And it even rolls really, really well. Usually brakes like that are stuck, but nope, pop right off. Speed a little bit. 40 air conditioning. It's slightly bigger than a Trabant, but I don't know how much of a reference that is. You people. Um, so it is 6 volt. Here is your battery. It's got it's the smallest 6 volt battery I can find. It's good enough for a car. And it is about positive ground. I love putting alternators on cars, but it won't be on this one. Where's the VIN tag? Where's the back? No VIN tag. I wonder where it is. Anywho, it's relevant. Right here now. If I was a five it open, probably hadn't been open in 40 years. Shocking in there. Okay. Working on a radiator. So this is the overhead cam. It's gear driven. Well by a shaft. So helical gear from the end of it. it. Comes up. Shaft comes up right there, that long tube behind the fan. And this has rotators for the valve. So each time the valve hits or shuts, and how you look at it, uh, the valves will rotate a little bit to keep you from burning out the valves. Quickly. Itty bitty little exhaust and a heater. It was, I don't know if it was optional, but I have two heaters in the back there, so pretty cool. The seats are pretty blue and white. Somebody must have done that. Someone also had fiberglass sheeting in the back of this a little bit, and it dissolved in the powder, so I'm kind of going to clean this out thoroughly here first. Um, these are sliding windows. I wonder if it was that door or that color. It certainly looks like it. And there's a red door and some seat frames. All right, we cleaned out just a bit. Not a whole lot to see. Looks like maybe a, maybe it's a patch panel. Was it well like at the factory? I don't know. And down there. Well, the seats are really nice for what they are. And notice the cutouts on the floor. It's all solid from what I can tell. It might have been well together here and there, but it's good enough now. I haven't moved that stuff yet. There's some some type of fiberglass mat that like disintegrated over the past 40 years. I don't want to breathe that in. We'll just leave that for now. There's a there's a box of heating and ventilation stuff in the back. But well, here's everything that came out that matters. 
so I have a spare wheel and numerous engine parts to something. Hey, it's flathead. I looked it up. Here, hang on. Some pup cap, there it is. Very small. Which hand mission it fits. It doesn't go to the Crosley. I believe that goes to the Crosley the whole thing. There's two heater boxes. Don't know for what. They might be aftermarket. I don't think either goes to this. Maybe you just put something on. This is what looks like a new old stock gas tank. You can well clean. Paint it just that in the car. It's all the stuff to what looks like that engine in pieces. Down there. It has a roller bearing crank and I've never seen anything like it. I looked it up. And apparently it goes to an American Bantam for all from seven for our English friends. Little squirt of a car. That's kinda cool. And block is from about thirty-three. So it's a copy of an awesome seven, apparently, for the most part. But with SAE threads, not metric, so that's weird enough. No wonder it doesn't look like a problem. But that was a micro car as well, so I wonder what happened to the rest of it. Interesting. I hope everything to the engine, other than the car, maybe it's electrical. Hmm, huh, that's really cool. I believe on that one, the distributor was driven off the generator or something like that. Maybe it's in here, but I don't think so. I don't know why he kept it. No one knows why. I don't know. He never had one. We know that. So. Anyway, quite interesting. Good looking wheels. It looks like a good quarter of these parts are to that phantom. I have so far three hubcaps. I have a center. To a wheel. It just looks like a standard five bowl. I could be wrong. Somebody cut out a center for a reason. No idea. I'll bring it around. There we go. What else got here? He was in the Navy, so there's some type of a, and also electrical engineer, I think. Some type of RPM gauge. New old stock headlight. Westinghouse. Only one though. There's some old ones in the back. Field beam. And some other gauges. These are not Crosley again. They wonder if I see that Bantam actually. Well, it's, this is Ford. I have no idea what it is. Okay. And. Oh, see that. There's something else here. Oh, there's a extra Crosley speedometer. And the other gauge is cluster pack of pretty bad shape. But it has a glass I could use. Dual stock voltage regulator and the 10. I think I'd still get a fresh one. Um, and more of those bantam parts. Look at the little crankshaft. Itty bitty can. It's so small. I'd say this is Phantom voltage regulator of some sort, I, I think. A little old pump. I'll try to put it back together. It'd be a good project. So that taillight's standard, and the factory option was for an extra taillight. Not signal lights though, they never got it. Inside the door there. Have a seat. Started? Mm, boy, that windshield pad. I thought it was definitely painted blue. What we got there? That's a show. Okay. Alright, moving on. 
looking at for that 22,000 miles I, I would go to say it's probably original and I don't know what that is I don't have a manual in it until it's out I have to learn it fiberglass shard what little bit of headliner and hide left is gone this is cool this is cool they had an itty bitty gear shift wobbly too and a I believe yep this is piece of the transmission arbor where it's for speed on there does it go to this I don't know does it go to that phantom maybe oh it's a clutch I haven't hit it yet air cleaner Oh wow, that's that's easy. And the brake. Hard. Ah, there it is. Ah, feels like I saw. Oh, that's just a that's just a stick on a rod. Okay. Okay, that's pretty easy. My guess is down there's where we put in the brake fluid. Maybe not. Maybe that's that sound. Can't tell. Or, for the most part, seems solid. A cool little car. Oh, wow, there's not much to this. Wow. That's cool. Huh. Looks like the original wire may still be in good shape to use. I don't know. We'll see. That, well, I'll take that back. I'll take that back. <laughs> Looks like it was painted up one time, doesn't it? Like stripped down, primed everywhere. Okay, yeah, as I thought, the points are destroyed. Look at the cat. Hmm, it's pretty good, doesn't it? I don't know if that's a spring or a hard one. No, no, that's a hard one. Okay. Not too bad. Okay. Hmm, they're crud, aren't they? You have to check to see how the old pressure is, if there's any. I know there's not much oil on it. We'll fix all that in a second. There you go. I imagine that would work. A little more. I'd say the car hasn't been ran since the 70s. Maybe early 80s. It's hard telling. Not past that though. There we go. We got clean points now. How much one about that condenser shot? I wonder. I don't have any right now, just a generic condenser, but I'll get a few. Good bit of pitting, huh? There you go. That's good now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got a... One and maybe two. 
Okay, here you go. I like how someone braided the black wires. That's cute. Looks like the wrong type of wire for the coil. See how thin that is? That's not a six volt wire, is it? Let's just yank one. Huh. Well, would not have expected that. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna knock the hood down. Oh, it came right out. Look at that. Oh. Hey, people. How do you keep a car? You put it in the barn for 40 years. Oh, I'll piece in the socket. Yeah. Maybe it was burned a little oil. Or a little rich, but. Not too bad, is it? wires. Gasket to it. Hmm. These plugs have are the gaskety type. Not a big deal. Again, look good. Looks like somebody old threads or something, doesn't it? Hmm. Thank you, whoever did it. Maybe that's the wash I'm talking about. I mean, they're dirty, but. They don't look that bad, nothing shocking. It looks like he was running a little rich, but... Well, I just don't know my car, please. Could be that. Boy, time you need an old gun, huh? Just to squirt it in there. seems to remember or know why this car was parked. 
Did it fall off or something? No. Who knows? It meant a lot to him to keep it though, all these years. No one, at least there, had ever seen it run. I've known the man for many, many years. Oh wow, that's clean. Ooh, lost some washers. Was up the valve cover. That's cool. And that's broke. Little, just a smidgen of surface rust right there, but that's nothing. That's it. Wow. There's your helical cam gear. That's cool. It's just a straight shaft going up and down. That looks perfect. Well, I'm not seeing anything there. So this engine has no cylinder head. It all has to go in through the bottom. Like going to the proctologist to get your teeth fixed. Okay. Well, I'll oil it all up. and There's my little fuel pump cam. Hmm. Remarkable. That looks excellent, doesn't it? Look at that, no wear at all on the cam gen. Or a little bit of junk in there, but... There you go. product placement yeah. a little bit down there too this is great stuff okay I think they should be well lubed if they move that is no real way knowing so you crank it boy that worries me Okay, get a little bit negative all right there. Oh yeah. If it somehow starts, I'll only run it just a bit and put the cover back on. Get down here. Oh, I hear it in the pan? Ah. Ah. You got some in it. I wouldn't call it good. Slow. Oh, the old change time. Get out of your way there. I don't have a filter. In fact, I have no parts for this car at all. New. No. Talk about. Mm, that's on there. I have a feeling if I pop that loose, I'm going to break the seal. Let's just check the oil and see how bad it looks. We'll go from there. And now it's just adorable. Sounds empty. Who knows? 13 sixteenths. Yes, it is. So this car has those limited production metal calipers. I don't think it's far. What do you think? Anything gonna be in there? It's just crap. 
Oh. Look at that. I think it actually is all. Okay. Yeah, well, we're gonna. Be looking for water or anything. No, no water. But that looks really good. I mean, very old and varnishy, but. It smells old. I think it might be gas. I don't know. I'm not quite certain. It. Whatever it is, is broke down, so I made a good call changing it. This is what it looks like on the bottom. I'm gonna roll with it. Just uh, change the oil and give her a crank. I'll uh, maybe check the transmission oil, but I don't know if I can get you in there for that. That's a neat little car. Yeah, it, it reeks of old gas. Like antique gas. Maybe the oil just broke down. Oh, that old's probably older than I am. Hmm. That's neat. Okay, okay. No washer either. Let me put one on there. Be better not. Need old calipers. What was that? Oh, okay. not the leak, that's all. That's all we're going for. Maybe it'll work. That's a better no gasket, right? Let's see what we have in fine motor rolls. Yeah, let's go with 1540. What do you think? It's either 5W30 or 1540 this time. Yoink! That work. Got some chunks in here, get out. I prefer not to put any paint inside the engine. That's not too bad. Glug, glug, glug. Hmm. Now it takes a little bit. One crude dipstick. But I suppose it's just a stick. What's it matter? It's getting there. No more. It takes so much. That stuff could have been Marvel's Mystery Oil. It broke down. I don't know. Of course, some of it was mine. You know, dumping, but it wasn't all of it. The high quality diesel oil. How about extra yummy zinc? Nom nom nom. Going a while to go. Okay, let's drain it out behind me. I might not have enough. I can run some 5 be 30 with it. All right, it should be fine. Take 
a little while probably get down there. I wonder what's in that old filter. Mm. I don't want to look. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're getting there. A little more. Good enough, huh? Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then somebody up. And folks, this is positive ground. I'm not anywhere near bringing that stuff in either. Yep, all that dust. I think the starter solenoids still work. I wonder. Now we're gonna, oh, that's brass. Not sure it's yet. Got it out of gear, I think. I don't know. Holy crap, it's fun. Oh! There it is. Ah! Yeah, I forgot about that. Who was guessing I'd forget about that? Hang on. Ew, ew, ew. That little thing ready. Mm -mm -mm. You little car, you. Alright. Hey, you don't usually puke that bad. But... Well, now I'm all mystery old. I'm sure that's healthy. This thing actually cranks a bit. Sounds good. I'll uh, put them all in the transmission, hook up the ignition, and see what happens. Here we go. Sound pretty good, didn't it? So I went inside, I checked the old pressure. So by myself I can't really show you. But the old pressure's climbing as I crank it. It's slow, but hey, it is six volts. So I'm gonna hook this up here, see if we have spark. So I have it hot wired inside. I don't have the key to this car, so here we go. Watch for spark. Wow, I wouldn't have thought that. Okay. All right, we got spark. That means it should run. I'm not gonna mess with the carburetor right now. But I am gonna try to loosen it up and get my little squirty bottle of two cycle. Help these little cars. Okay, got it back together. Couldn't check the transmission all, couldn't get to it. Looks dry. Squirty bottle of gas. I've not touched the carburetor, we're just gonna squirt a little in. Get the run. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, here we go. To neutral. See if we have horn. <coughs> the water and oil in it. Plugs are back in. We now we have a spark. Oh boy. A little bit of my go-go juice in here. I don't think this car has sputtered or started since at least the late 70s, early 80s. Here we go.
Oh, damn it. It's all in my broke. Well, son of a bitch. Take five. Hang on. Take 23. There it is. Contact. Ignition. Contact. Okay. Hang on there. Bear with me. Contact. No smoke at all. 